Recently, what we are seeing in Europe is the scorching heat wave. The temperature is increasing to new highs. So why is it that the heat waves are happening in Europe so frequently? Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video, we will be talking about the temperature rise in Europe. That why the Europe is burning. So let's see the timeline of the video, what all we will be studying. First, we will be looking at what is the news. Then what is happening presently in Europe? The reasons for the heat waves, what will be its impact and what are the measures that can be taken to reduce the impact of heat waves? Then when a heat wave is declared in India, what are the criteria that when in India the heat wave is declared? In the end, we will be looking into a prelims MCQ and a mains practice question. So this topic is of relevance from general studies paper 1, geophysical phenomena. From prelims perspective, it is important to know when a heat wave is declared in India and from mains perspective, it is important to know what are the reasons, impact and the measures that can be taken for the heat waves. So now let's look at the news and this news has been taken from the explained section of Indian Express and it reads what's behind the record breaking heat wave in Europe. So there are two components in it. First is what is the reason that why the temperature is increasing so much in Europe and second is heat wave. When is it called a heat wave? So these are few of the other headlines that are going on in news nowadays. First is wildfires spread as heat wave grips Europe. Europe heat wave. UK that is United Kingdom records hottest ever temperature. So in the Europe or in the UK the temperature is nowadays going above the 35 degrees Celsius mark or the 37 degrees Celsius mark. And even the 40 degree Celsius mark it is breaching nowadays. See in Europe these are not the usual temperatures which goes on. But nowadays the 35 or the 37 degree mark temperature is being constantly being breached by the heat waves. So let's see. See this is the Europe map. Whole of Europe. See this is Spain, Portugal, France. And the surrounding areas of France, Germany, Poland, Italy. So these are the areas in which majorly the heat waves are taking place. And like it is causing a lot of problem to the humankind. And even in UK, that is the United Kingdom, the temperature has reached to its record high. It has breached the 40 degree Celsius mark. So now let's talk about what is going on in the news. See. France has experienced its hottest month of May on record. That is this year's the month of May was hottest in France. And along with France, the surrounding areas of France that is like Spain, Italy, Poland. The heat waves are also going on in these areas. See what is a heat wave? Heat wave is when the air or the waves which are going on daily basis becomes very dry and there is too much heat in it when it crosses a particular mark of 30 degree or 35 degree like for example in India it is like when the waves will cross the mark of 40 degrees in planes then they will be called as heat waves so when it becomes difficult for the humans to deal with it then they are called heat waves Temperatures across Europe are soaring yet again and wildfires or forest fires or the droughts are also taking place because of the heat waves which are going on in present times. So if you are able to see this, see extreme and very extreme, the red and the very red marks are extreme and very extreme criteria. So this is the whole of Europe. So if you are able to see this Spain. This is France and this is Italy. This is the UK. Then if you are able to see that the, it, the area of Spain, France, Italy and UK, these are under the criteria of extreme and very extreme. So the, the major heat waves are going on in these areas. So they are majorly under the conditions of the heat waves. 
Now let's talk about that what is happening is that heat waves in Europe are increasing in frequency that is uh, the frequency that is more number of heat waves are coming in Europe and it is increasing in frequency and intensity. It means more and more number of heat waves are coming and it is becoming more intense. It means the temperature is increasing. It is becoming more hot, more dry. So, uh, it is increasing in frequency and intensity at a faster rate than almost any other part of the planet. So, the, it is as compared to other places, the heat waves in Europe are increasingly becoming more and more dangerous as the people there are feeling its pressure and are finding it difficult to deal with it. So, let's look at what are the reasons that why the heat waves are becoming so frequent in Europe. So, primary the reasons are global warming and climate change. As because of global warming and climate change, slowly and gradually the temperature of our planet is increasing and we all know that from pre-industrial levels the temperature is already at a high and because of the greenhouse effect also the temperature is increasing. The greenhouse gases are also playing a major part in it. Then circulation of the atmosphere, ocean, the low pressure area, we will just be looking into these all these points in detail. Then the Mediterranean climate, see what happens, see Earth, if this is the Mediterranean Sea, then the area of Europe lies above it. So, the Mediterranean climate also plays a major role in uh, deciding the uh, climate or the weather of the Europe. So, what is the specific feature of the Mediterranean climate? See, in Mediterranean climate, what happens? The summers are dry while the winters are wet and the rain takes place in winters, not in summers. So, the summers becomes extremely dry and extremely hot. So, the Mediterranean climate also plays a major part in the heat waves. Then, the fast warming of Arctic region as compared to the other region, the Arctic region are becoming warm very fast. Then, the slowing of the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation. This is one of the major water flowing circulations that happens and over the years the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation has also slowed down. It has also become weak. So, the circulation of water in the sea is also becoming weak. So, let us uh, look at few of the points in detail. See what happens if you are able to see this figure. See, this is summer solitics and it takes place on June 21. So, few uh, last month only the summer solitics took place. So, what happened is, see, in summer solitics, see, the earth tends to tilt towards the sun. One of the pole of the earth, it tilts towards the sun more as compared to the other. So, what happens? See, this is equator. This is the line of equator. This is Tropic of Cancer and this is Tropic of Capricorn. So, what happens when the earth tilt towards the sun? This area is more exposed to the sun rays compared to this area, the Tropic of Capricorn area. So, the Tropic of Cancer and the arctic circle it becomes more prone towards the sun so the sunlight directly reaches them so as compared to this area that is antarctic circle the arctic circle becomes more prone to sunlight and because it becomes more prone to sunlight the fast warming of arctic takes place and in the same see this is tropic of cancer and the european region is where is it lying in the world map it is lying in the region of Tropic of Cancer and above it. So, what happens that the sun rays are directly coming and lying to this area. So, this area becomes hot as compared to the area of the equator or the area of the Tropic of Capricorn. See, I will just explain on world map. Okay, see, this is the world map. So, 
दिस इज इक्वेटर दिस इज ट्रॉपिक ऑफ केप्रिकॉन एंड दिस इज ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर एंड वेयर इज द यूरोपियन रीजन दिस इज द यूरोपियन रीजन सो वॉट हैपन्स दैट वेन ड्यूरिंग समर सोल्सिस द वन ऑफ द पोल टिल्स टूवर्ड्स द सन मोर एज कंपेयर टू द अदर सो वॉट हैपन्स दैट द सन लाइट कैन डायरेक्टली रीच टू द एरिया ऑफ ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर एंड अबव सो वॉट हैपन्स दैट दिस एरिया देर इज द हाई प्रेशर एरिया गेट्स क्रिएटेड बिकॉज ऑफ द सन रेज द हाई प्रेशर एरिया गेट्स क्रिएटेड एंड अराउंड द इक्वेटर पोर्शन वॉट इज इट दैट इज अ लो प्रेशर एरिया इज क्रिएटेड एंड सी अराउंड दैट वी से इट अगेन सी दिस एरिया इट बिकम्स लो प्रेशर बिकॉज दिस इज हाई प्रेशर इक्वेटर ऑल्सो बिकम लो प्रेशर एंड द एफ्रीकन रीजन बिलो इट बिकम्स द हाई प्रेशर एरिया ठीक है ओके आई यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो वॉट हैपन्स द एयर टेंट्स टू फ्लो फ्रॉम हाई प्रेशर एरिया टू द लो प्रेशर एरिया सो द हाई प्रेशर एरिया विच इज क्रिएटेड हेयर द विंड फ्लोज टूवर्ड्स द लो प्रेशर एरिया सो दिस इज वेन फ्रॉम द हाई प्रेशर एरिया विंड कम्स टूवर्ड्स द यूरोपियन रीजन एंड इट गेट्स अक्यूमुलेटेड देयर एंड सेम हैपन्स फ्रॉम द साइड ऑफ द एफ्रीकन कॉन्टिनेंट ऑल्सो I'll just rub this and say again. Okay, see what happens that from the high pressure area, the wind comes downward, and from African region also, from the area of high pressure, the wind goes upward. And when there is a low pressure area, because of the shifting of the belt that takes place, the air gets accumulated in the low pressure area. so when the air gets accumulated in the low pressure area there is a air circulation which happens so when the air circulation happens now that when the air is circulated within one area and from top and from bo bottom both the areas the air is coming in it so the air becomes restricted in one area and it keeps on circulating there and more and more air keeps on accumulating there so what happens that the see now the air which is coming from high pressure area to low pressure area what is the characteristic of the air the air is warm the air is hot and the air is dry also because see this is the continent part this is a land area so when the air comes from the land area the air will not have moisture how will the air have moisture because there is no sea so the air is the air which is coming in the low pressure area is dry do not have the moist so if the air, dry air and the hot air which is coming from the high pressure area to the low pressure area it also makes the environment or or the climate there warm so that is why the europe is also becoming warm plus the mediterranean climate also that is the summers will be dry and hot while the rain will take place in winters so the mediterranean climate also adds on to the heat waves which is going on in europe and the jet stream also which blows from both the sides and the jet stream also gets bifurcated in the european region and moves to two different parts so the uh, jet stream which comes to the european region that is also adding to the heat waves which is going on at present so all these see so the all these points of circulation of the atmosphere that because of the air coming from high pressure area to the low pressure area and then the point of ocean that because the ocean is not present there so the air which is coming there will not be having any moisture then up low pressure area is we all know that because of the low pressure area the air comes and gets accumulated there the mediterranean climate and the fast warming of the arctic so we have discussed about the regions that why is it taking place so now what are the impact of heat waves so first is mortality and morbidity because people are not used to uh, this is crossing height 
of heat waves that is taking place in Europe, the loss of life is also taking place. And the, the problem of dehydration also takes place with, among the people. So, it is very uh, frequently advised to keep on having water or any liquid whenever it's possible. Then there is crop damage because when there is so much of heat and rain will not take place, then how will the irrigation takes place? And because of heat, the crop will get damaged. And if the crop will get damaged, it will automatically lead to less food production and high prices of the crop. Then there would be labor productivity loss because when the temperature will be too high, then the labor will not be able to go in the field and work for a longer period of time. And it is also leading to the forest fires, wildfires or the droughts. When rain will not come, floods will not be taking place, then the problem of droughts will also occur. Then after impact, let's look at what are the measures that can be taken for the people to uh, feel safe from the heat waves. That is first cooling shelters can be provided to them then portable air conditioning units and naturally ventilated buildings see nowadays the naturally ventilated buildings are not being built as earlier in medieval times or in ancient times we have seen that the naturally ventilated buildings was there but now because there is no space for the ventilation in buildings the air gets trapped in a building and that also leads to increase in temperature or we uh, or the humans feeling more warm then water kiosk can be provided at different different places staggered work hours should be less in which the people are supposed to go out and work and cool roofs for buildings can also be made and after this let's look at when a heat wave is declared in india See, this is the most important part from prelims perspective. It talks about that how and when a heat wave is declared in India. So, see, according to the IMD, that is Indian Meteorological Department, maximum temperature of a station touches at least 40 degrees Celsius or more for planes. So, in planes, when the temperature is more than 40 degrees Celsius or more, and in coastal regions, the temperature has to be 37 degrees Celsius or more. And in hilly regions, the temperature has to be 30 degrees Celsius or more. In plains, temperature 40 degrees Celsius or more. Coastal areas, temperature 37 degrees Celsius or more. And in hilly regions, temperature has to be more than 30 degrees Celsius. Then the heat waves will be declared in India. And based on departure from normal heat wave, then departure from normal is 4.5 degree Celsius to 6.4 degree Celsius. And in case of severe heat wave, then the departure has to be more than 6.4 degree Celsius. Then the second criteria is based on actual maximum temperature heat wave. When the actual maximum temperature is more than or equal to 45 degree Celsius. And in case of severe heat waves, it is more than or equal to 40 7 degree Celsius. See, knowing about India becomes important because this can be asked, these conditions can be asked in exam. Now, let's talk about the prelims MCQ that you people need to tell me in the comment section what is the correct answer of it. It reads, when is heat wave declared in India? When the maximum temperature of a station touches first at least 40 degree Celsius or more for planes. Second, 37 degree Celsius or more for coastal regions. Third is at least 30 degree Celsius or more for hilly regions. As we have just discussed this, you should be able to mark this answer right. And the codes are 1 and 2 only, 1 and 3 only, 2 and 3 only, 1, 2 and 3. So, in the end, let's talk about a means practice question. It says, examine the adverse impact caused by the heat waves and how India should deal with it. So, there are two command in, in this. First is examine and second is how. First, tell up, talk about the adverse impact and then talk about how uh, we can deal with it. So, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Till we meet next time, keep reading and keep writing.